Hey guys, it's Did It Zero, and I'm going to talk about UIs and menus and stuff like that. Uh, as you can see on screen, this is a menu I drew, or not drew, but I laid out, color, that kind of thing. Uh, I picked these colors because they don't clash. It's not like a red, a yellow, and a neon green, or you know, some crazy colors that are hard to see together, or stuff like that. I like menus that are either three or four colors, preferably three, maybe four. You have a dark color, a light color, and one medium in between color. I picked a rust red, a dark gray, and a white, and everything else is a black. But you know, you can pick your own colors, that kind of thing. Now I'm going to talk about the design. I took some of the parts of this one from an example that ArenaNet gave of their server PvP menu and I did a similar layout because I thought it looked good. But I have the conquest, which is the game type up in the top left with a description of what that entails, of what conquest is about. Below it I added a filter list and the create filters because to me filters in a menu are awesome. It lets you design how you want your setup to look like. Say the guild only. You could have that set up to only show maps that have a guild member in it. Or a possibility uh, you could have maps that have all guild members and no random people. Or, you know, stuff like that. Another idea would be if somebody's on your ignore list, you don't want to see any servers that have people that have on, that are on your ignore list. Say that you hate somebody so bad you put them on your ignore list and everyone on your ignore list you hate their guts you don't want to play with people like that so I think this something like that where you can if somebody's in a specific group you can just wipe all the servers off that have people in that group in them that'd be pretty cool no tournament only uh, it only shows tournament level servers or you know 10 versus 10 only or 5 versus 5 only or you know, stuff like that. It's really useful. Uh, next, we have a search button. I think all server selecting, player versus player selections, server selections, um, auction houses should have a search button. You can type in the name of the person you want to play with, the name of the server, the name of the guild. You can type in... Uh, just about anything, you can type in time left. Say you, you know you only have 25 minutes to play, and you just type in 25 minutes on the search button, and it will show you all the servers with less than that, or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. Next, you have a create button, which, you know, create a server. And I put a random button in there. The random button is for people that don't really care. They just want to play. They don't, you know, they just want to get in there and duke it out. I had a refresh and join button there. And the actual server menu there, where it says name, stats, players, the name of the server should be large. You should be able to easily skim over it and see it. Uh, the stats, you should have the amount of people that are playing total and the amount of people that's in there at that time. In this picture, I have 10 slash 10, which is 10 people total, five on each team. and the server is full. Uh, the time remaining, how many points each team has. With addition, you can put how many points they're going for. Because, you know, you might have a custom server that has 50,000 points or something. You never know. And also put players on there. Because I want to be able to look and see who's playing on that server. So if I know a guy, say I know the top 50 players and people, PvP, the you know grandmasters or whatever. I do not want to play against those guys. So if I see somebody with a name that I know that I know they're really good, I might not want to play against them. I might want to pick a different server or something, or you know pick their team or you know whatever. And next, I'm going to talk about the auction house. This is the picture of, of what I envision the auction house to look like. You'd have a Category selection, which would have crafting, armor, consumables, weapons, 
mounts if they have ended up having mounts in the game or just about anything you could buy from another player. Uh, you have main categories like crafting, armor, and consumables, but underneath that, if you click on them, you'd have subcategories like materials, wood, jewels, or if you picked armor, you'd have helmets, shields, bucklers, chest plates, boots, gloves, you know, that kind of thing. And you have another filters because, you know, you need filters on an auction house, and you need to search on the auction house, which is below the filters. But we'll get to that in a second. Uh, on the filters, on the right side of the screen, I got I actually drew out a picture. Uh, I actually drew out how I want the filters to look. You can create a filter, delete a filter, and edit a filter, which shows those three buttons on the bottom. But in the filters, you would have all the possible combinations. And here I have like stuff, friends, guildmate, legendary, bid, buyout. That means like, say guildmate. If that's checked, that means a guildmate has to have put it in there. Or, I don't know. But let's go to the enemy guilds and ignore list. You see where those are not checked? That means that I do not want to look at that stuff. I do not want to see it. Just. Don't let me even see that stuff because I don't want to support people that are on my ignore list or something like that. I don't want to support people that have marked for spamming. So don't even let me see spamming stuff or whatever. You can create different stuff. You can have guild only, legendary only, um, buy out less than a certain number, buy out larger than a certain number, um, you know time left stuff like that I got a create an offer a bid and a buy button down the main create you know create an auction house you always need a create button because how are you going to put your stuff up for people to buy but the offer um how to explain this if anyone's ever played RuneScape which I haven't played in a very long time but they have a grand exchange I believe that's what it's called where you put up an item, you say, I have 60,000 tea leaves, and I want 75 cents a leaf. And somebody else will come up and be like, I want to buy tea leaves for a dollar each. And the first person to put up a bid that's higher or equal to your sale price, they get the tea leaves automatically. Or you can do it vice versa. Say you want to buy tea leaves. You can be like, I want to buy tea leaves for 85 cents each. If somebody is selling tea leaves for less than 85 cents, you'll get their tea leaves as long as somebody else before you doesn't buy them all out. And it's hard to explain what I'm talking about here, but I hope you guys get the picture. Next, I'm going to talk about this friends list. Um, in my friends list, I want to be able to separate my friends from my friends. <laughs> And I want to separate my family from my friends and my boss from my friends, if you know what I mean. Because I don't want my boss in my friends list, but I want him in my friends list. If that makes any sense whatsoever. And this is how I envision it to work in a logical manner. First, we have a categories. You have RL friends or work buddies, families, cool bros, and PvP people. You can name these anything you want, create groups, delete them, whatever. And when you add a friend to a group, on the right side I actually drew this out, you have your friend's name, which you, you know, null and void, and you select a color. You select, or a symbol, you could put a symbol or a picture or anything. You just want to be able to differentiate, differentiate, man, I'm a hillbilly. But you want to, you know separate your friends even more and then you select the group that you want your friends to go in you might be selecting more than one group you might select only one group you might want to put your art real life friends in the pvp group you know i don't know but you need to be able to easily manage this because you know it's your friends uh, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment of what you would like to see. Uh, please leave a comment if you have anything that 
I need to do better? Anything I need to change about these kind of things? Any suggestions, topics to talk about, anything like that? Thank you guys for watching. Did it zero. Out.